good morning students in this video we will discuss another example on minimum equivalence of two of this or not okay a relation r consists of attributes a comma b comma c comma d having two of these sets x and y and they have given the set of f is present in the x and set of f is present in the y and they are asking whether x is equivalent to y or not okay what is the rule one or the step one y covers x or not we need to check what is the meaning of y covers x all the attribute f d is present in the x is there in the y or not we can check or let me repeat again the f d is from of the x can be derived from the y or not we need to check how we will check if you see this one a determine b whether it is there or not we have to check it is not directly present so we will check indirectly what is meant by indirectly checking i will calculate the a closer from the f is present in the y what is the a closer from the f is present in the y a closer will consist of a okay from this one if you can say that a closer consists of a can determine bc so i can say that a closer consists of attribute b comma c lot of people will do the mistake when they are calculating the closer they will say that a is determining bc so you should write a bc not b comma c but if you see that there is no attribute called bc you have a separate attribute called b comma c so that's why we should write b comma c okay and c is determining d so this is the a closer from this one now a closer consists of b yeah a closer consists of b so i can say that a determines b is indirectly present in the set y now we will see whether b determines c is present or not because it is not directly present so i will check indirectly how i can check indirectly i will calculate the b closer from the set of f is given in y okay what is the b closer b closer will consists of b okay b closer consists of b anything else b closer does it consists of c it does not consists of c so i can say that b determines c is not present in directly and indirectly in the y so i can say that y does not cover x is it clear are you able to understand why it does not cover x because b determines c is not present in the y so c determines d is present that is in directly present so we no need to worry but still the b determines c is not present so i can say that y does not cover x we will see but here itself you can say that sir y is not equal to x or x is not equal to y because the third rule says that if y covers x and x covers y then only we can say that x is equal to y the step 1 itself we can say that x is not equal to y for a better understanding i am discussing whether x covers y or not we will check okay meaning is that what are the f d is present in the y can be derived from x or not we will check a determines b c is not directly present so we will check whether we can derive indirectly or not how we can derive or how we can check whether it is indirectly present or not i will calculate the a closer from these fds what is the a closer from the fds present in x a closer consists of a and a determines b so a closer consists of b b determines c so c will be there c determines d it will be there so a determines bc is present here indirectly is it clear because a closer consists of b and c so i can say that a determines b c f d is present in the x indirectly c determines d is directly present so i can say that x covers y but y does not cover x so i can say that x is not equivalent to y meaning is that the set of f d is present in the x and the set y is not equal okay so i hope you have understood how to check two set of fds whether they are equivalent or not okay thank you so much